In this video, we'll talk about another type of uh, inheritance that is multiple alienism. Multiple allelism means when there are more than two alleles, more than two alleles for a particular gene or for a particular phenotype. For one gene or a phenotype. Up till now, we talked about two alleles for a particular gene, one dominant, one recessive in most of the cases. Here we are talking of more than two alleles of one gene, that means more than two forms of a gene controlling one character or phenotype. The example that we discussed for multiple allelism is of ABO blood groups. There are three alleles which are responsible for blood group. Let us talk about these alleles. There are three alleles. The alleles are IA, IB and IO which control the blood group. Now conditions, every individual will have only two out of these three. So an individual can have IA, IA, this is one possibility, IA, I, O, that is homozygous here and this is heterozygous. The other possibility is I, B, I, B and I, B, I, O. So four possibilities are here. Now, next I, A, I, B and the last is I, O and I, O. So these are various combinations which we can have in individuals. Out of these three alleles, IA and IB are dominant and only one that is IO is the recessive allele. Now in the first case, we are talking about a homozygous dominant condition. So the blood group of this person will be A and we will call this blood group as homozygous A because both the alleles are for the dominant one. This individual will also have blood group A but it is going to be heterozygous. So let us write this is homozygous and this one will be heterozygous but they have the same blood group. In this is case 2, this is case 3, this is 4. So in third case the individual's blood group will be B but it is going to be homozygous B as both the alleles are for dominant. So this is again homozygous. Next situation, one dominant allele, other is recessive. So blood group is going to be B, but this time it is because of heterozygous condition. Next situation, say this is our situation number five and this is six. In this case, the blood group is going to be a, B. Reason? There is one dominant gene or allele which is responsible for A and other is for B. So here the blood group is A, B. We do not have any other option or possibility in this. In the last situation, both the alleles are the recessive ones and that is why the blood group of this individual is going to be O. Now, what exactly these A, B and O's, they mean? We are talking about a gene and its forms. A gene is responsible for formation of a particular protein or a sugar. Here, the RBC of an individual, if we say the person has IA, then the RBC will have an antigen A here on the membrane of RBC. If the individual is B with the B blood group, the antigen will be B. And in such person's blood who has antigen A, there is antibody B. And antibody is always written in lowercase. Why this person cannot have antibody A? Because if there is antibody A, this would react with the antigen. So one type of antigen and the other type of 
antibody. We'll come to that in a minute, but let us just quickly go over it. So how many alleles are there? Three. Three alleles. How many phenotypes means phenotype we said is what exactly they show or what is the physical appearance. Here, it is not physical appearance. We can take it as the blood group. These two have A blood group. So there is one possible blood group is A. These two have B blood group. So other possible blood group is B. Third, AB and fourth, O. So how many phenotypes are possible? There are three alleles. The phenotypes are four. And genotypes, homozygous for A, heterozygous for A, homozygous for B, heterozygous for B, then A, B and O. So there are total genotypes as six. So this we have to remember that there are three alleles which control ABO blood group. There are four phenotypes possible or four types of blood groups possible and there are six genotypes for one particular blood group one situation is homozygous and other is heterozygous so now let us talk about what situation would arise if we know the blood group of parents can we interpret or assess the possible blood groups of the offsprings or vice versa. Say we say the father has blood group A and if it is simple A given that means we have to take it as heterozygous unless and until they specify it and the mother's blood group is B and we are assuming here that they are heterozygous. Heterozygous means one dominant allele, other is recessive allele. Here, one dominant allele, one recessive allele. Now, when they produce gametes, and we plot those gametes in the punit square, the gamete produced by the father, one, sorry, one would bring A and other would bring IO. And from mother, it's going to be IB and IO. So, if there are four options, four possibilities, what possible blood groups can we get here? This individual would have blood group AB, A coming from father, B coming from mother, the islands which are coming from these gametes. Here the blood group will be IB coming from mother and IO from the father. In this situation, IA and IO from here, and the fourth situation is going to be IOIO. That means there are 25% chances of having every blood group. Out of four, which we can take 100%, one block is giving us AB. That means 25% chances that the offspring will have AB. 25% the child or baby will have B blood group here also. 25% chances of A blood group and 25% chances of O blood group. But if the situation is different here, different in the sense here we have taken heterozygous. If they say that the father is homozygous A and mother is homozygous B. In that situation, our equation or this percentage is going to totally change. Let us take that situation where the genotype of the mother and father is homozygous for that particular blood group. So when we say homozygous, we mean both the alleles are dominant. So father will be homozygous dominant for A, mother will be for B. So the gametes which they produce, father would produce IA and IA containing gametes and mother would produce IB and IB containing gametes. So here, the blood group is going to be IA, IB, that is AB. Here also IA, IB. In this situation also IA, IB, and here also IA, IB. So in the first case, when we took 
the blood group say A and B in heterozygous condition we got all four blood groups in the uh, percentage of 25 each. If we take homozygous situation the ratio is 100% AB blood group. Reason being they are homozygous for a particular blood group. So we can interpret or we can uh, calculate the percentage of offsprings showing a particular type of blood group if we know the genotype of the parents.